All right, scholars, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to help you go through and do notes on the concept guide for term one. Let's take a look at distance. In parentheses, we'll put a symbol we can use for that. And what I'd like you to do is try to fill out this ahead of time as much as you can, and then come back and see how I did it so that you are thinking about it a little bit more on your own. You'll remember more. You'll get more out of it. All right, so go ahead and pause it. And maybe I would say do the next three or four on your own and then unpause it and see how I do it. Okay, pause now. Welcome back. For distance, did you use D? And the units, it can be measured in meters, centimeters, you can do miles, kilometers, feet any of these examples. Displacement, we didn't define this um, very, uh, very carefully at the beginning of the year. I'm not going to test you on that concept, so you can skip displacement. Speed, the symbol we use for that is V, the same symbol that we use for velocity. We can think of instantaneous speed as measured by a speedometer of a car. We can think of average speed as distance over time. So that equation for speed is distance over time. And we can write this equation other ways too using an algebra triangle. D goes on top, V times T on the bottom. That means that you can also write this equation as D equals V times T, or T, I'll put it over here, T equals D divided by V. So we can see that time is distance divided by speed. The units, any unit for distance on top and any unit for time on the bottom works. You could have meters per second, you could have meters per hour, you could have kilometers per hour, uh, feet per second. All these are valid units. Velocity is a little bit more specific than speed. It's the rate of change of position. Um, it is like speed, but can be positive or negative, depending on direction. So the equation really looks the same for velocity. We're not going to write anything new for that. And the units are also the same. Acceleration, we use the symbol A. So what I'd like you to do now is pause it and try to fill in the rest of these two on your own, and then come back. Okay, welcome back. Acceleration, we can use A, defined as the rate of change of velocity. It can be positive or negative. Generally speaking, we think of positive as getting faster, negative as getting slower. The equation for this is acceleration equals the change in velocity, V final minus V initial, over the time interval for that change. And units here, on top we're going to have any units of speed, so meters per second, divided by some unit per time, like seconds. You could also have miles per hour per second. Um, let's take a look at specifically the type of acceleration when something is free falling. The symbol we use for that is G, lowercase g. And we know that falling objects accelerate 9.8 meters per second square. We sometimes round to 10. Free fall means there is no air resistance. The object will continue to get faster and faster and faster. If there is air resistance, it will reach what we call a terminal velocity, where the air resistance is balanced by the force of gravity and the object maintains a constant speed and does not continue to accelerate. Alright, I would like you to now check on the next video where I'm going to go over Newton's laws.